Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're going to go over a quick tip with curl and how you can have curl create all parent directories for you ahead of time when you're outputting a file. This could be really useful if you're using the output flag to output a file to a directory that doesn't exist. Without using this create dirs flag, you might need to, I don't know, write the file to the temp directory, then use make dir p to make the directory, and then move the file to the directory that you want. Maybe make it executable in the end if you're downloading a script, potentially. You know, that's not really super important about that, but that's a pretty common use case and actually will be the use case that we use here. So yeah, you can reduce all of that just using the create is flag and it's pretty handy. So let's say that we want to download a script here, which will be the note script that I have here. Uh, let me just go and grab that copy, the path to this note script. This is up available on GitHub, by the way. I've made videos about this. Not important. I just wanted to have uh, some file that we can curl down here. And uh, yeah, if we do this, then things are going to work, right? Well, technically, you know, let's make this uh, file executable as well. So we have this new temp notes over here. Done, right? We downloaded the file, all successful. And if I do a stat on temp notes, then Bam, there's the file, it's all executable, good to go. And the reason this works without using create dirs or needing to use, uh, you know, make dir p here is because this temp directory exists on my system, chances are it is going to exist in yours as well. So let me just remove that notes file here just so we can start from scratch here. And now let's just say that we want to uh, not just do that, but let's say that we want to make this in some directory that won't exist, right? Something like another dir, notes, something like that, right? If I run this uh, command like this, this is going to fail because curl cannot write this node script to this directory here because temp another dir doesn't exist. So what we could do here to fix that as well, we can just do our, um, well, no, let's go ahead and just move this back to where it was before, where we can do temp to nodes there. And then we'll need to, you know, do our make dir p here on temp another dir. Great. And then what else do we need to do here? Well, then we need to chmod x here on temp notes. And then what should we do then? Well, then let's just move temp nodes to, you know, temp another dir. And I think this will work unless I have some typos here. Let's see. Great. So successful, I think. So let's go to temp another dir and then notes here. And then we can see that we do have the file there. It's all good to go, executable. Everything is in the right spot. It no longer exists at temp notes here because we used move, right? Move is going to move the file uh, from this location to this one. It's not making a copy. But look how much work we had to do there, right? We had to output it to a temp directory, make the directory. Remember to use dash P here because it's a nested directory. Then we need to make it executable. Then we can move it. And you know, you can do these in slightly different orders, right? Like you can always uh, move it before you do ch mod x there. You know, that's up to you here. But uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and just toast out this directory here. Done. And then, yeah, uh, we can solve this. Uh, well, yeah, we can still see things. I was going to clear my screen, but maybe not. But yeah, let's solve this using create dirs, which is pretty handy here. So we can do curl just like we did before. Let me just grab this uh, over here. We're actually going to make some optimizations here uh, because we're going to be able to use our shell to do some little tricks here, but uh, not necessary, just optional. But before we do that, you know, let's say that we want to do the same thing that we did before here, where we just want to, you know, output to uh, another dir notes here. And this time around, let's use the create dir flag instead. So now we do not need to make dir p here, but we do still need to do our ch mod x here. In this case, this is going to be on temp another dir notes like this and i think that should be good cool so let me clear that because we are running out of space here but you know if i do the stat again here we can see that things are good to go you know that's the command that we just ran to make this work so a little bit nicer right didn't need to use make dir p didn't use didn't need to use the move command as well but uh we can actually optimize this a little bit better we're also going to be using create dir but uh let's put the create dir flag over here instead so create dir and it could also go at the beginning over here too, right? You know, in between the URL and the curl command here. But there is a reason why I put the output last here. So uh, what we could do here is if we wanted to make this file executable, what we could do is we can just run chmod uh, dash x here. And then we can do technically this, and that's it. Because this will get the argument of the previous command here, which, uh, sorry, it's going to get the last argument of the previous command, which is the path to the file. So this is basically just a little shortcut to that. Yeah, technically I should quote it. Yeah, I know, if you watch other videos, I squigglies as well. Uh, not necessary for squigglies this time, but yeah, this will do the same exact thing here. Uh, it's a little bit more convenient because we didn't need to duplicate the path. And chances are, you know, if you're downloading something from the internet on a one-off, yeah, you don't need to make a, a variable to not do the path twice here. It's kind of just convenient to do this. And uh, I don't know, I like it. Yeah, that's why I put the output flag here just so we can grab that path here. But again, you can be doing whatever, right? The real takeaway here is having create dir. Now, you may have noticed that uh, this command will run successfully, you know, even if the file exists a couple of times or the directories exist. That's because curl is smart enough to know that 
you know, it will create directories if uh, you need to, but if they already exist, then the, you know, it doesn't need to create them. So it's just going to silently work. Like it's not going to fail. It'll just be like, oh, directory exists. Let me not deal with it. Um, I, there is a couple interesting things. And by the way, this curl, uh, it is for version, what was it? 7.10.3 or something like that. It, you know, it's from January, 2003 was uh, from the change log. So we are now in uh, April, 2023. So it's been around for about 20 years, this feature. And it's kind of cool, like kind of just discovered this one a couple of days ago. So I figured it'd be a great way to make a, well, I should make a video about that. So let me go to uh, curl version here. You can see I'm running 7.81. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be using this for anything. You know, I find it to be pretty useful just for these little one-off things where it's like download something into a directory, make it executable, and I'm done. So with that said, yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks for, for thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one.